Today in this video I'm going to show you how to fix reboot and select proper boot device. Or insert boot media in selected boot device and press a key. The reboot and select proper boot device error simply means that your computer's basic input output system or BIOS cannot find the boot device that contains your operating system, it is prompting you to restart your computer, enter into your computer's BIOS system, UEF, I, and select the correct boot device that contains your operating system and have the computer boot from it. Several causes can prompt this error message to come up, including physical issues and software problems. Physical issues can include your boot disk not being connected properly to your computer's hardware, having a boot disk that is damaged or has failed, or having a faulty cable, damaged SATA slot or a dead hard drive. Software issues may include an inactive boot partition, a damaged or corrupted master boot record, MBR, a wrong boot sequence in the BIOS, corrupted or lost boot files, or operating system that has become corrupted. Step 1. Restart the computer. Step 2. Keep pressing F2, Dell, F8, F10, or F12, while your system boots to enter BIOS. Enter the standard CMOS features when the BIOS settings come up, then we'll show your hard disk and IDE channel 0 master 1 2, but if you don't show it, you will think that the BIOS settings have not been done properly, otherwise the hard disk is totally damaged. Otherwise the hard disk SATA cable and power cable were not connected. Properly before I fix everything, I will fix the BIOS setting. Follow some steps for that. Back from here then go to advanced BIOS features. Then go to hard disk boot priority to see if the hard disk is showing if the hard drive does not show, then back. And see the first boot device is disabled here, you must select the first boot device hard disk but if you do not understand then back now. After backing up, make the load optimized defaults and then OK, the reason for this is that. Your BIOS settings will be the same as before. Save the BIOS settings by pressing F10 after load optimized defaults. After saving the BIOS settings, your computer will restart. Thereafter go to BIOS settings. After restart. Then go to standard CMOS features and see if your hard disk is showing or if not show. Back to the rhythm. Then enter integrated peripherals then IDE prefetch mode must be enabled. Then go back to the advanced BIOS features and make sure the first boot device is on the hard disk. Then go back to integrated peripherals and enable NB SATA control if it is disabled. Simply load optimize defaults solve all the problems in many cases. You simply save the BIOS settings by pressing F10. After saving the BIOS settings, your computer will restart. Go to BIOS settings after. Restart. Go to standard CMOS features and see if the hard drive is showing. Yes, now the hard disk is showing, and if your hard disk does not show then see the next. Method, your problem has been solved. You simply press F10 to save the BIOS settings and exit now follow the next step. First you open the CPU cabinet and turn off the power of the computer or open the power cable like me. After unplugging the power cable open the SATA cable and the hard disk power cable with your hard disk and clean it well with a cloth. In fact reboot and select proper boot device or insert message telling you that the computer is having problems and communicating properly with your hard drive. Clean it well and put it back in the same way as the cables were laid. And your SATA cable is attached to your motherboard, open it, clean it well and put it back in place. Then turn on the computer and see if it works well, and if not ok, follow the next step. Change your SATA cable and try changing it if you have another SATA cable most of SATA. Cables have problems you just have to change the SATA cable once. If you have extra SATA cable, change the rhythm and if you don't have it, unplug the cable. With DVD writer and insert it on the hard disk.
The power supply has two power cable connections, one of which is connected to a DVD writer. Open the power cable and insert the hard drive. If it still doesn't work, then if you have an extra hard disk, insert it and boot the computer. If your computer boots, then you will think that your previous hard drive is totally bad. If you still have problems with these things, buy a new hard drive, install Windows and run it, or take it to a computer repair shop to show it. This problem occurs when most of your hard disk is not connected to the proper cable, and when the system is corrupted, if the computer does not boot after doing all this, then you must take it to the computer repair shop. If you like the video, don't forget to like, subscribe and share my YouTube channel.